All right, so next we're going to talk about building rapport and then pre-framing the actual appointment or pre-framing the close ahead of time. Um, so one of the first things that we do when we show up to a consultation is we want to actually look for visual cues that help us start to get an idea of the customer before we even walk into the home. So what does that mean? From the outside looking in, that could be the lawn, that could be cars in the driveway, that could be a basketball hoop, that could be children's toys on the line. All these things are going to give us a sense of who they are and maybe also what they find value in. Then also a way for you to find commonalities so you can already know what you're going to talk about before you even walk into the home. Now, when you do walk into the home, oftentimes people have the things on display that are near and dearest to their heart, such as trophies, photos of uh, family, extended family, um, art, vacation, awards, things of that nature. So immediately when you're looking in, you want to pay attention to the things that they put on display because they put those things on display for a reason and they're actually very easy uh, conversation starters. So again, trophies, accomplishments, pets, photos on the wall, family, uh, family could also be in the home at the same time so on and so forth and what do we want to do from there what we're trying to do is we want to start to get to know them by asking questions you'll get a couple different types of customers you'll get that that a very easygoing customer who's very chatty is ready to have that conversation with you probably has a thousand questions for you before you even walk in the door those are great we love those warm and welcoming customers but what about that guy who's a little bit cold who's a little bit resistant uh very kind of hard to to, to kind of crack open right so those customers are going to be more times than the other. And what we want to do is we want to get through to them by asking creative questions. So we want to look for key things that make up who they are and what they find value in. So what we're going to do at the beginning is we're going to start off with the surface level questions or things of like, how long have you folks lived in an area? Uh, where did you live before then? That's an interesting career. How did you get started in that? Uh, what's the biggest thing you wish you knew before you got started in that career? I really like that question because it's a, a very good uh, subsurface level question that can really start a really good conversation. So again, I want to start off at the surface, but then what's going to help me as a sales consultant stand out is how my ability to ask very creative questions. So for an example, let's say I'm sitting down with a teacher uh, and I'm asking, you know, hey, how'd you get started in teaching? Uh, what made you want to become a teacher? And then when I'm done asking the surface level questions, that's kind of going to get a, a surface level answer. I want to ask something creative to really get their brain going. So I'm going to ask something along the lines of, hey, in a post-COVID world where everything's all digital and the kids are at home and they're on Zoom, what do you think is next for education in a post-COVID world today? What does that question do? Most people aren't asking them questions like that. And that person, because again, it's their career, this is something that's very important to them. This is something they spend a lot of time in. When you ask them a question like that, that they maybe don't get asked often, it forces them to think creatively and to really be present in the moment and then engage you in a way that is, is again, uh, beneath the surface. So asking creative questions is a, a, a very surefire way to build rapport with your customers and find commonality. Next, let's talk about pre-faming the close of the appointment. So the way we do that is we like to really start off with an intention statement. And our intention statement goes something like this. Hey, at the end of this, I hope we can find savings. Most of the time we do, but this is not for everyone. And sometimes financially it just does not make sense. So if it doesn't make sense financially at the end of this, no harm, no foul, we're just gonna be glad that we met. Uh, but if it does make sense, I'm gonna ask two things of you. Number one, I'm gonna give you all the time in the world. Number two, I'm gonna ask you to get the process started. It's a very long process. There's a million things for us to do to get solar on your roof and working um, and nothing for you to do. So I'm gonna ask and show you how to get the process started. Does that sound fair? Now the point of me doing this early in the consultation is I'm actually starting to plant seeds in the customer's mind about what's gonna happen at the end of the consultation. That way when we get to the close and we're pulling out docs and I'm talking about the site survey, it doesn't feel like, wow, this thing is going way too fast. We haven't had time to think about it. I'm getting a mutual agreement for the customer about the next steps before we ever sit down and dive into the presentation. And that's what you call a pre-frame. 